everyone, welcome to a new video. Today we are going to review my only source of heat into this building and it's a diesel heater. It's a direct heater, it's, it comes from the Master Climate Solutions, they make it and it's the B35 model and it has 8600 kilocalories which is around 10 kilowatt. This one here is the, is the basic model, meaning that I, it doesn't have a thermostat, so normally here you can have the thermostat from, from them, it just clicks in, and then the unit it stays on all the time, and basically when you reach the temperature that you set, it will just turn it on and off. I have decided to go for this because it's way cheaper uh, without this option, and then buy this option somewhere else, which I'm gonna show you later on. We have the filter, the diesel filter inside there. I use a funnel to put it in because it's not very comfortable to, to leave the, the diesel inside there and not to drop it everywhere. And then what else we have here? The air intake filter, which is recommended to clean very often. And then we have this one, which is basically, so let's start from the left side. The way this unit works is that you have, it will burn 100% of the gases. So to do that, it needs to work at the correct pressure. In here, if there's a screw that you, you, you unscrew and you put a pressure gauge, and then this is the screw that you use to regulate the pressure based on whatever the model and the manual says for your specific unit. It's very important from what I noticed that the pressure is the exact one that they, they that they recommend purely because otherwise you won't you won't burn 100% of those fumes. There is always the risk that you don't burn 100% of the fumes, but if you keep it to that pressure, the risk is way lower. That's why I also use a carbon monoxide, which I'm going to show you here. I use a carbon monoxide alarm, so you never know, just in case something happens so another thing that we have with the fuel because we're talking about it you have a fuel gauge in here so you have empty okay i just move it so it kind of fluctuates a little bit it's pretty precise to be honest when it was empty i i noticed that the fuel i had around the liter inside this one here holds i think it's 15 liter yeah, so here is the pressure I was telling you about, so it's 0 0.20 bar, and I believe it holds 15 liters of diesel inside. It can also be used with kerosene, but it's very expensive in, in our side in Europe here. Diesel is the best thing to go for, in my opinion. I'm gonna open it now, so I just wanna walk you through how it looks inside. Okay, so all we have here is basically the motor, which is the one that is turning the fan. Behind the motor, the way it's got like some, it's like a pump also. So it uses, it uses the, 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 the motor for two things, to push the air through here, and also to create the pressure that goes into, into here. So this is where, where that little thing is where the, the fuel comes out. So it uses the pressure from the back of the motor to generate pressure so the fuel can come out in through here. It's an automatic ignition igniter. So um, basically what happens, is you just press one button, which is this one here. It will automatically start the fire. Everything will done, it will, it's done automatically. Something else that we have here and it's super important for me. So this is a, an infrared flame detector, so in case, I don't know, you're not here and the unit is, is running for whatever reason on its own, it's not recommended to just leave it there, in my opinion, and you go away because there's a, a big flame, which I'm gonna show you when it works in there. So, you know, there's a risk of catching fire. You have the infrared light in here. So if there isn't a flame, the machine will turn off. So you won't just pump fuel everywhere. So if the flame is missing, the, the unit goes off by, by itself. So as I was telling you earlier, it's a 10 kilowatt machine. For my, my workshop, it's very bad insulated. So the walls are not insulated at all. So what happened is I need around 5.5 kilowatt. This is a 60 square meter workshop. 
and it comes back to about 5.5 kilowatt of heating capacity. However, I did try with an electric 5 kilowatt and it wasn't able to heat up the place. So I decided to go for 10 kilowatt and it works a lot better. I do heat up this place in about, it, it depends on the ambient temperature outside. Right now it's seven degrees outside and it took me about half an hour to bring it to 20 degrees. Yeah, so it's pretty quick, pretty quick. The only problem is clearly because the place is not insulated very well. As soon as I turn this off, as soon as it heats up, it also cools down. So within half an hour, I go back to about 10 to 12 degrees roughly. Okay, we're gonna put the cover back and then I'm gonna turn it on. I'm, before, before I turn it on, I'm gonna show you the socket that I use to control the temperature on it instead of the original one. And uh, then we put it all back and then we're gonna turn it on. So what I have here, as I was telling you, so I have this one. So it's a socket that reads constantly the temperature, which is the top reading here. And then I have two set points, the minimum, so when the unit should start at, and the maximum, when the unit should st stop at. It's very easy to set, you just press in here, you go up and down, you set again, it goes up and down, and then it will, if you press set, it keeps going, but if you leave it, it will automatically come out of the setting. It's pretty, I didn't need this at the beginning because um, I didn't have the roof. So basically there was the roof, but it was the roof of the, of, of the building and it was about six meter tall. So it was never heating up properly. That's something you guys have to consider as well. It's not just the square meter, it's the volume. So if you have, if you have very high ceilings, it's probably, you're gonna have those 25 degrees up there, but you're gonna have those 10 to 12 degrees below here. So I dropped the ceiling and it was heating up too much. So I went from not having enough heat to having too much heat. So I had to install this purely because otherwise I would have to go to the machine, turn it on and off every half an hour or so. So I left it on, uh, so what will happen as soon as I'm gonna, I'm gonna plug it into here. So as you can see, the blue light is on, the temperature is 12.8 degrees, but my, the socket, it will only turn the power off in here when it reaches 20. So as soon as I'm gonna plug it in, the unit will start. burning point so it's ideal to have a clear area where the unit goes from now on like uh, it will heat up very quickly actually the air it's instant at around seven to eight hundred degrees once that thing inside there will get red that's the maximum temperature that it will reach and it will stay like that all the time this will reach another end of the video thank you guys for watching thank you for being here thank you for supporting the channel please subscribe if you like this type of content and see the